Year 10 Geometry Exam Practice Question 19. So it says determine the value of x in the following. So one of the rules um, of a circle shows us that we know that this area of our x has to be 40 degrees. However, what happens if we don't know the, the theorem? We need to prove it. So the first thing I'm going to do, just so we can prove everything, because in the end, we need to understand it. So I am going to label this side A, but because it's, it's a isosceles triangle, because they, both of these are going straight to the radius, this side here will be also A. Likewise, I'm going to name this side B, which also means that this side here is B. Now, to work out a, um, a, with our triangles, we know there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So, to work out the angle in the middle here, we need to minus 2B. So, I've got 180 minus 2B. Likewise, on the other triangle, I'm going to have 180 and I'm going to minus 2A. So, now we've got this part here where we know these two slots is 180 minus 2A and we've got 180 minus 2B here and that if I add it to 80 degrees, it's going to equal to 360. So to double check this 80 degrees, I know that angle would be starting at 360 and I'm going to take the other two angles away. So I'm just going to take away 180 minus 2A and I'm going to take away 180 minus 2B. Now I've done it in uh, these brackets for a reason and the reason is that I really want us to be able to see that that negative applies to everything inside the brackets. So it becomes 360 take away 180 but a negative and negative is a positive so it's plus 2A. The negative it becomes part of 180 but a negative and a negative is a positive so it's plus 2B. If I look at this 380, 360, take away 180, take away 180, that cancels out. That leaves me with my 2A plus 2B. And what do we know? We had AB over here, which the middle area is double. So that also shows that if this is 80 degrees, our X value had to have been 40 degrees.